before golf that's been safaried. It's all like lifted and looking funky and on big suspension and everything. In fact, that rear suspension looks like it's collapsed. Is it even connected? Oh shit, I know what's happened here. Exciting video today. We're off to see my new car friend. I was driving along the road the other day and a car that was even cooler than mine went past. We gave each other the like, way nice car. And I went past him and he was looking at the John Player side. And then he went past me on the other side and he realized the, that side of the car is different. And then he was like, no way, your car's wicked too. And we had like a man bonding moment when I was going, I love your car. And he was going, I love your car. Anyway. Uh, I put a photo of that on Instagram and someone tagged the owner and he's only local. I'm going to see him now. I made a new friend. That's exciting, isn't it? You don't make friends when you're a bloke. So I'm very excited about my new friend. He's driving a Mark IV Golf that's been safaried. It's all like lifted and looking funky and on big suspension and everything. And I'm very excited. And he sent me his location and he said, I don't think you'll get down this road in the black Volvo. I mean, if ever there was a challenge, that's a challenge, isn't it? He's laid down the gauntlet and I'm gonna go and get my car stuck. Now we're stuck. Okay, now we're stuck. Now we're stuck. All right. <laughs> Look at that, my poor stranded Volvo. It's not going any further. Go on, hit me, I dare you. I double dare you. Oh, we nearly did as well. All right, Karen, I bet you can't keep up with him. Five-cylinder Volvo with no turbo. He's genuinely such a fun car. Like, what, what other car could I be driving where I accelerate onto a roundabout, change into second gear mid-roundabout, and then drift across the road because my wheels aren't getting any traction? It's brilliant. I think this is the road he advised me not to drive down, but I beg to differ. I believe he's underrating the uh, performance capabilities of the evil Volvo. Yeah, it's uh, pretty rutted. We can do this Volvo, you and me. Oof. <laughs> uh, what if we can't do it? Now nah, we can do this the ground out. Slow and steady. Grounding out, grounding out. Ooh, can you hear that? Wheel spin. How deep's this? Not too deep. <laughs> Oof! Ten points for the evil Volvo. cross when in flood okay well I made it down the road that Nat told me not to drive down I'm going to show you now why he told me not to go this way let me spin the camera so if it's not for the fact that the road coming down is rutted and I bottomed out I don't know how many times the next bit is this descent here which is quite steep into that which is quite deep and apparently it gets even deeper as you go further round. so we've got to go the long way round to find where Nat's golf is but Nat's come to meet me 
and now we're going to get the Volvo back up the road that it just came down. All right now? Yeah. Do you often meet strangers off the internet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to murder him. <laughs> oh dear. Nat, Jeff buys cars, Jeff buys yeah. cars, Nat. Nat, tell me about your, tell me what you were just telling me. So you basically got sick of lowered cars and decided to raise one instead. Yeah, well, I decided that. Uh... While well, I do this 25 point turn. <laughs> It's not too bad. You've got Should be all right. It's the traction I'm worried about. I haven't got traction in the dry, let alone on the. Uh... It's going to be interesting. Oh. It's quite long as well. I don't know. It is quite long. <laughs> this is what I like about driving cheap cars as well. It doesn't really matter. Oh, cheap cars are the best cars. Mine was 700 quid. How Mine much? 700. 700. Yeah. yeah. It's a PD 115, so not massively powerful. Yeah. But it's got. 130,000 miles on it now, yeah. which is quite good for a PD. Yeah, definitely. So yeah. we'll drive to it and then and then we'll have a look. Two, two options here. One, we could turn around, or two, we could start filming. So, <laughs> so, so have a guess what we did. <laughs> yeah. How bad was that noise a minute ago, though? That was. We're, we're about to hear it again for filming in a second. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, basically, the Volvo is dragging its ass quite badly down um, an extremely rutted road. I think I'm going to attack this one over here. Let's turn the camera. Around. That's just slid straight into the middle. Are we even going to get through that? We might not get through that. Okay, I'm pretty stuck, stuck now. now. I think we're stuck. <laughs> now we're stuck. Okay, now we're stuck. Now we're stuck. <laughs> All right. Let's. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to get much further with this car, are we? Are we? I was hoping to at least get to that next ne next gate. It looks flatter at that next point there. If we can just get past these three puddles, we might be all right. But it's trying not to slide is the problem. So I know, yeah. I, I know you can get it further enough across. It reckons it'd take five minutes to walk. All right, let's walk it. Let's not risk it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not risky. Well, we tore up the ground, so it's fine. So this is the bit that we can't get through, which I, I think it's sensible to call it. Um, well, especially when you see a bit further on. Oh, okay, fine, fine. Because <laughs> there's a part of me then that was like, let's just do it. Um, all right. Look how low the back is, though. It's no wonder, is it? In fact, that rear suspension looks like it's collapsed. Is it even connected? Oh, shit. I know what's happened here. Uh, no, I don't know. Hang on. I'll have a look underneath. <laughs> Look at that, my poor stranded Volvo. It's not going any further at the moment. So we'll walk it instead. <laughs> so we've got deceptive mud that looks thin, that looks shallow, but isn't. And yeah, I decided to wear my Vans and not my boots today. Yeah, like that. I knew I was making an off-road video and I still wore my Vans. Uh, I'm gonna go this side, I'm gonna risk the grass. Oh, that's better. Oh, I'll do that. Practically dry over here. I'm gonna get stuck again. Here we go. What's the number plate all about? Um, N2UWU. Well, it's obviously anime reference. It's, uh, it's an anime reference? Well, it can't, yeah. You're going to have to explain this to me. I don't understand anime. <laughs> well, it's not really my sort of thing. It's the missus, really. Right. So we both got matching number plates. Okay. So mine's, my name's Nat, so obviously N. Yeah. And then... I got that bit worked out. Yeah. I did that uh, in my own head. My missus name's Leah and hers is L2 rather right. than N2. Got it you. It would have been one, but like they're 500 quid for a plate. 
Yeah. Only 250. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So, this is a Mark III Golf. What year? Mark IV. Mark IV? Oh, I said the wrong thing. I did know it was a Mark IV. Let me do that bit again. <laughs> We'll edit that out. So, this is a Mark IV Golf, as I just said. Yes. See the outtakes for the real version. This is a Mark IV Golf. It is lifted. You said it's on Tiguan Springs? Yeah, Tiguan Springs. Um, for a Tiguan, I think it's like a 35mm lift anyway. So, yeah. on top of like just a ran, uh, regular Tiguan height. Got you. So... And I've noticed you've, uh, you've, you've copied the Jeff Buys Cars patented California roof. <laughs> Yes, I love sliding roofs. I've this is the second car I've done it to. Yeah, so I did it to the Arosa, which obviously yeah, send your picture save for. And then you're gonna have to show me how this roof works in a minute because yeah, I don't know if you, <laughs> yeah, I did this to a Volvo last earlier this year actually, but I didn't do such a long term job as you've done. So that's a very nice fix, and it's locking as well by the looks of it. Yeah, I mean you've done a proper job here. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, so. It, it was an electric roof. Um, just an electric sunroof and... Well, no, it, it originally was just a hard top with yeah. uh, roof rails, uh, but the, the folding roof itself yeah. was a um, an electric roof out of a Bolingo. Was it? Right, okay. Yeah. Got you. Um, I broke all the mechanism. Yeah. It's now a manual roof. Yeah. <laughs> Standard. Um, but that means you've got a full length folding rag top, which is the best thing ever. Exactly. Uh, how much did you pay for the Bolingo roof bit? Uh... 300 pounds oh okay yeah so you got to spend a bit of money on it um yeah i've there's i've seen one of the sale in the uk have you yeah all right that's it. we'll have <laughs> to see if we can <laughs> we'll have to see if we can find that um so yeah when i did mine i did a just like a clip on tarpaulin roof yeah. but that was it was never meant to be long term because it was a scrap car but seeing this has inspired me because i've been thinking i'll do the same to the, the evil volvo yeah, for summer nice. If we ever get it out from the spot that it's now stuck on with its spring missing, we can pull it out with this. So this is just super cool. I can't really do a walk around here without getting myself super muddy. Um, tell me about your exhaust. Uh, yeah, so a mate of mine, uh, uh, I asked him just, oh, do you reckon you could do some twin up, uh, up front pipes for me? Yeah. Uh, because obviously I want to go through water and stuff and I don't, uh, if I ever change gear, yeah. Not on purpose, obviously. Yeah. Uh, and then it goes back down. Brilliant. Not really ideal. I like it. Um, also looks cool. It does look very cool. <laughs> should we go and have a play and also rescue my Volvo? Yes. Let's yeah, do it. Famous last words. I just said to Nat, you do something cool and I'll film. Which is the same as saying, hold my beer and watch this. It's a cool thing that is, isn't it? Jump it, jump it, jump it! Rear wheel off the ground! Yes, an excellent choice of vehicle. But it is super cool and it yeah it's handling this road like a champ well it's off road with aircon isn't it yeah exactly <laughs> so why have this and not a freelander just because it's more fun and you're a volkswagen guy aren't you you like your volkswagens <laughs> yeah pretty much all of my cars have been volkswagen audi group cars so you had what an arosa uh, so i had lupo a tt and an arosa which one was on air ride uh the arosa the arosa was, was the on cheapest air. one <laughs> and that was how much was the air ride and how much was the car uh car i bought for 550 in ipswich yeah uh it broke down in ipswich excellent uh and then the air ride i think i got it on sale for 1.2 or something amazing so gotta love the concept of putting on air suspension that costs more than the car oh yeah <laughs> so you sold that and moved on to the tt or was this next uh, this was next yeah so you went from a tt to an arosa <laughs> you went the wrong way yeah i did go the wrong way <laughs> i love what you've done with your headlining yeah it, I, it, my ocd man really gets to me seeing this unfinished um but... i had this problem with my california volvo i couldn't work out what to do with the headlining uh I think I could have done a nicer job than you, though. 
Yeah, they but were it, just trying to get it up to a point where we put the roof back together. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because when you cut the roof out of your car, you then have that moment when you're like, oh shit, I've cut the roof out of my car. <laughs> oh shit, it leaks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, mine, ne mine never leaked too badly, considering it was just a little push button tarpaulin. I was impressed, but I love that you've done it for this. It's brilliant. Yeah. It doesn't leak now, though. It's all no. and everything, which is brilliant. Well, my Volvo that does have a proper li proper roof leak, so you know, not gonna lose anything. <laughs> and there right. it is. There it is. It doesn't have a police aware abandoned vehicle sign on it yet, <laughs> and because the police couldn't get down here. Right. So what we need to do is reverse the Volvo, and then go and find the rear spring that's gone missing. Look at that. Just like a champ. Yeah. Like a champ. One thing that I should add is, is the mud stinks. <laughs> Just standard Jeff buys cars chaos. Let's go find my rear spring in a four-wheel drive Golf. That's not four-wheel drive. Now we're driving around trying to find my rear passenger spring which we've lost. <laughs> Eat that, Mr. Big Tires. So I am now driving along with my rear left sitting on the bump stops, uh, just on the coil over on the bottom of the shock because the spring's gone missing never do that with the race car the race car wheels were too big but on this you just about can it's not scraping on the tire it's not sat on the tire like the race car was who needs springs anyway overrated now we're in the safari has it got a name this car the green machine the green it? machine <laughs> you don't call it the safari golf or anything you no know? I'd, i mean if it ends it'd be golf country wouldn't it be golf country it would be a golf country wouldn't it so we're in the golf country aka the green machine aka the jurassic wagon <laughs> um and we're shopping for a spring so tell me what gone why <laughs> well i i've had a lot of lowered cars i had uh, the last three cars were lowered and I was fed up of getting stuck on speed bumps. If anybody, anybody's been around Worcester, you know speed bumps are atrocious here. Yeah. And I was fed up of it. I mean, the last one was better because it was on air, but it was still pain. Yeah. Once you start driving cars that are a little bit higher, you do realise they are much more versatile and yeah. usable. I found that with the Freelander, it was great. Now, I think the springs, this is where I went for it. It's got to be... Yeah, it's anyway. Somewhere like, around yeah. here, isn't it? I mean, it's... You'd hope so. You'd hope so. <laughs> but if not, then... Uh... There's an excuse to get a new set of springs. Then there's an excuse to get a new set of springs, exactly. And I already explained to you that the coilovers and springs on that car were crap. Um, <laughs> so that's fine. Isn't it? At least it can be driven home. The ride in this is lovely. Yeah, it's all right, other than when it tops out the front. Yeah. <laughs> but... <laughs> what shocks have you got on it? Uh, Mark 6 shocks. Mark 6 shocks and two yeah. run springs. Yeah. yeah, and then Mark 5 uh, top hats. And so that was, was like... that everything you everything to do with the lift then, to give you the height? Um, on, on the front, yeah, I've yeah. just connected the sway bar, obviously, to get yeah. a little bit more. Um, and then just set a new shocks in the rear, standard ones. And yeah. then... Um, um, for four inch extensions uh, to go uh, to go higher on the rear. Yep, got you. How did I get the Volvo down this? I have no idea because that would have been close to the floor. Yeah. <laughs> There's the spring! Hang on! Yeah! There's the spring! Oh wow, so I lost the... <laughs> you lost it at the start of going I lost it at the start. <laughs> And then I did that. I did that whole road with the no with spring. the arse dragon on the floor. Oh. Brilliant! Can you believe that I lost the spring right at the start of proceedings? That is funny. Very funny.
Look how bent it is as well. They're just rubbish, these coilovers are. Absolutely rubbish. So. <laughs> Feel like you've pushed your uh, your golf. <laughs> you feel like you've pushed your golf hard enough for YouTube. Uh, I don't know, maybe. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, when I, I was filming then, and I was like, if anything goes wrong here, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> Definitely worth it. Uh, right, oh, yeah. thanks very much for for hanging out and oh, no you know worries. showing me your golf <laughs> and uh, helping me break my Volvo. I'm gonna jack the back up now and put that spring back on. <laughs> and um, yeah, maybe I'll see you see you again. Mm. Um, Next time you do something else to it. Yeah, I'll definitely. I'll let you know when I got some more stuff done to it. Cool, so, man. All right. Yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah. You bent the electrics on your tow bar. Yeah. That's just showing that you were just about going hard enough. My duct tape's come off my car. Right, let's get this spring in. Mainly about your jeans. Yeah, mine too. And my shirt. Right. If you um just knock the jack down, and I should be able to film that spring. Nicely taking its spot. Keep going. Yeah, we're in business. Awesome. Lovely, she's back together. What a quality and quite unexpected little day out. Love it. Just comparing notes here, like we're probably the only two people in Worcestershire that have put a full length rag top in a in an estate car and we've managed to find each other. You like the safety features? Yeah, absolutely. You wouldn't steal that, would you? Wow. Well. I don't know, it depends where you live. I wouldn't go near it because of the mud and the smell, to be honest. <laughs> so you got proper rails under there as well? Yeah. Nice job. So it's got the full frame in it. Oh, that's epic. And obviously it slides all the way back. Yeah, brilliant. Which I'm not going to do. <laughs> I'm quite inspired. I'm going to shop for one of these. So it's a Berlingo roof. Yeah, so at, when I bought, uh, when my mate got it for me, it yeah. was literally, there was that and A another. Yeah. But the other one was still attached to the car and he wouldn't break the car for parts. Ah, oh, right, okay. Got you. That's brilliant. And then what's this from? Is this Bilingo as well? Yeah, this is all Bilingo. So it's all stuff. Bilingo. Okay, excellent. I know what I'm shopping for now then. <laughs> Lovely. Right, thanks for that. Yeah. I'll catch you later on. Yeah. See you in a bit. Did we, um, did we just become best friends? My ignition barrel's on the way out. That was fun. Let's go home and edit some video. The net result isn't too bad, actually. I thought it would look worse than that. I really did. Even on the other side. Yeah, not bad at all. Oh, look, S-Type R. 4.2 litre supercharged, aren't they? I think they are. <laughs>